Welcome everyone to my latest video review. Today I have RPM Yellow from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. And this is the last addition to Wave 15, which had Lightspeed Rescue Blue and Turbo Red. So this is what it looks like. So we have a really nice picture of the figure on the front there. And then the, the top left, we have another picture of RPM Yellow. And when you turn it, you have RPM Yellow's helmet, and we have the logo here, Paragus RPM. And then on the back, we have a beautiful picture of RPM Yellow. And then we have a little uh, breakdown of which you get there. Let me actually show you guys a close up. So we got the RPM Yellow helmet. We have Summer's face right there. We have the gun, the sword, and an effect piece right there. It's weird that she did not get uh come with her weapon it was like a little like little car like thing i'm not I, I can't remember how exactly she used it was like a weird little weapon she had and that's basically it for the box art or what the box looks like i just wanted to show you because i do have a new rpm yellow when it was when rpm was still uh active i think it was 2017 I thought I'll show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison shot. Let me just... Um... So there you go. So that's what uh, they look like. And this is actually the RPM yellow figure that was released uh, in the main line of the RPM figures. It's what uh, she looks like. And... For a basic figure, she pretty much came with all her weapons, like the sword, the gun. She even came with the little uh, car-like weapon. She came even with a miniature, like, Zord. Right there, let me actually show you a close-up. And this was like a, this briefcase here was like a spring action thing. You would, like, pull the lever forward and then place the, either the Zord or her weapon over there. You would let it go and it would just fly fly to the front it was pretty cool and you have this like weird little statue right there so um, i have to give it to the bandai figure there because i love the windowed boxes because you uh see what you're getting right in front of you that's what i miss about the lightning collection boxes even they were even more beautiful when we had the window in front and also with the inconsistencies that the Lightning Collection has so far, fingers crossed, hopefully it will stay that way. They haven't faced any um, problems since they moved to uh, the windowless boxes so far. I haven't had any problems, but it would still be nice to have a um, window on your box so you know what you're getting because of the paint inconsistencies. So yes, yeah, so I thought I'll show you guys like a um, comparison between the bandai figure box and the box that the rpm yellow figure came in so this is what the figure looks like and i must say they did a great job with um the helmet the overall suit and also the face of summer uh, summer she does look um very identical to the actress that played her we will do some comparison shots so we can have a better look the only thing that I'm not digging is the skirt. It's a bit too oversized on her. And they should have made it a little bit shorter on her. I'll show you guys what the weapons look like. And I love how her weapons are very detailed. It's really cool. This is what her gun looks like. And this is what her sword looks like. And after actually a long time, for the extra hands, we got something different we have this one right here and this one right here because for a while the extra hands were always like a fist hand and that was it and you get this um effect piece And this is what the figure looks like. Looking at the helmet, they did an amazing job with the helmet. And here's Summer's face. But 
let's take a look at Summer's face. So I looked at different Google images to see which one they might have captured. Honestly, it could be a number of pictures because she has a very like basic expression on her face. But I think this picture perfectly highlights uh, what her face looks like. Honestly, they did a great job because uh, this is Summer's face from what, uh, like five years ago? Wow, or six years ago, I believe. So like, um, the actress would, would have, to have a little bit of age on her. So it would make sense that they made the face similar to like what she might look like now. But overall, they did a great job. Only difference is like the face shape and even the hair. They kind of did too much with the hair. There's not that much volume going on with her hair and even the skin tone. Again, the skin tone could be like the lighting on the actual picture of um, Summer. But yeah, so that's what they look like. And honestly, they did a decent job seeing how... A lot of the other ranger figures, they couldn't get the likeness at all. They did a okay job. Like, I'm happy with what we got here. Could it have been better? Yes, sure. But I like this. So let's see if they got the suit correct. So I have on the right a picture of RPM Yellow from the TV show. And on the left, I have the figure, the Lightning Collection figure. And right away, I can tell I love the um, suit from the TV show because that really big skirt is kind of, uh, it's not on, in scale with the rest of the body. But other than that, everything else, like the shade of yellow, again, that could be lighting. But they seem to have gotten everything else spot on. Like I'm just looking at both. The only difference is that the visor starts a little bit lower on the actual figure and on RPM yellows, the suit, the visor is a little bit more wider and it starts off a little bit higher on her helmet. That's what I noticed. And everything else, it looks like they got it spot on. I'm just like trying to like analyze it even further. Like they have the little hook there for the gun and yeah, they did a great job. Honestly, there was not much that they could really screw up with this because it was a very basic suit. The only thing is, let me actually get a close-up. Yeah, they did not color in the... Um, I don't know if the, if it's like a mouthpiece. If you look on the actual RPM yellow suit, you can see like two little mouthpieces below the visor. That's not actually... It's actually molded in on the Lightning Collection figure, but it's not colored in. Which is like a minor thing, it's not huge. But one thing I also wanted to show you guys is that they actually cared to put in the white stripes on the sides of her hand, arms. So it looks really, so I'm glad that they went all out to do that. I'm surprised because normally something that small of a detailed lightning collection like leaves out. So I'm surprised that they actually put that in. So yeah, so overall they did do a great job with capturing the suit and the likeness. It's not like, they really um, left anything out. So yeah, they did a great job there. So guys, I want to show you guys um, comparison shot from the 2017 Bandai figure and um, the lightning figure. And this is what they look like. And they did a great job with the Bandai's figure for back then. They actually included a lot of the detailing there. The only thing I don't like about the Bandai's figure is it's a little bit on the very thin side compared to like the lightning figure that looks a little bit more uh, what a regular human would look like. And it's funny, while the lightning figure skirt, I would believe, is a little bit long, the opposite is true for the Bandai figure where the skirt is a little bit too uh, small. And um, one thing I like is that the Bandai figure came with all the different accessories. I'm pretty sure if you have the Bandai figure, you could use the main weapon, the Bandai figure on um, the lightning figure here. Cause like, if you look at it right here, I'll show you guys a close up. 
I don't see why you couldn't use it. Unfortunately, I wouldn't know because I wouldn't be able to test it out because it is new in packaging. And I wouldn't be, I don't see, I don't want to open it because these figures are so expensive. And here's an interesting fact. They actually called her Bear Ranger instead of Yellow Ranger. So I can't remember if the RPM Rangers were referred to as their animal names or if they were referred to by color, but that's interesting. I didn't uh, even realize that. So yeah, so that's the um, comparison of both the figures there. So let's check out the articulation. So the articulation is pretty much the same as every lightning figure. So the head, you can move it side to side, up, down, or down, up. Hand, you can move it side to side, up and down. You can like rotate it by the shoulder. The elbow to move it up and down. You can rotate the glove right there. You can even like expand her chest a little bit. There's not too much going on with the chest. And even with the chest, you can move it up, down. There's not, I don't know if it's just my figure. You can't really do too much chest things with this here. Now with the legs, it's a little bit hindered because of the skirt. You can't do too much. With up, down, side to side, you have like a double jointed knee right there and like move the boot you can move the um, foot right there so standard articulation not too much going on there you guys want to add a weapon I'll just show you guys what it looks like i just wish i could get this figure to stand on its own but that's pretty much it this is actually our first RPM figure from the Lightning Collection. So, unfortunately, she doesn't have any friends right now. Hopefully, after the supposed break that the Lightning Collection is taking, we'll get more figures. I would love a Green Ranger figure, blue, black. I love the entire RPM team. They look amazing. Because RPM Yellow is the only range that's been released from our team. So I'll show you guys all the yellow rangers side to side. So we have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Yellow Ranger, Alien Yellow Ranger, Yellow Zeo, Space Yellow, Galaxy Yellow, Dino Thunder Yellow, SPD Yellow, RPM Yellow, and Beast Morphers Yellow. Honestly, I wish they had finished Turbo because there would be a lot of a consistency going on because up to a certain point there's a lot of the ranger teams that have been released then there's a gap when we get into the disney seasons so yeah i wish we had gotten more turbos let's hope that's in the cards for the future so so we have i know there's technically psycho yellow and a squad yellow but i don't really count them because technically they're they are evil yellow rangers just want to show you like the main yellow range is the good guys and honestly we actually have a lot of yellow ranges which is pretty cool and it's nice seeing the different variations and how they look and we have um alien yellow the only guy ranger maybe we'll get ninja storm yellow and the other yellow guys so that you will have more male yellow rangers so what it, and that's what they look like and yeah they look really awesome so we have reached the end of the review and it's feedback time i must say i'm impressed with this figure they did pretty much everything correctly there's no paint defects the accuracy is phenomenal even with summer's head they got a um, the resemblance they did a pretty good job on that and I'm very happy with this figure and I've noticed the yellow rangers seem to have that luck where they seem to have skipped the defects like I know Zeo and Dino Thunder they both had silver detailing around the visor except for certain rangers while it's supposed to be white so I know both the yellow rangers Zeo yellow and Dino Thunder yellow missed it even SPD yellow I believe um had a consist consistent white around the visor because I know not all the SPD Rangers had the white detailing around the visor there, but I know yellow had the correct detailing. So like that, I believe 
the yellow ring just got lucky so it's pretty cool so would i recommend this figure yeah definitely if you like yellow rangers if you like power rangers rpm i would say um go for it it's a really cool figure and also to remove the head and then put it back on it's very easy normally it's kind of hard on certain figures and it's only articulation the bottom half there's not too much going on because the skirt hinders it but for me it's not a big deal because I have my figure standing up, so it's not a big issue for me. And I also really love it when um, the diversity that uh, Hasbro has when they're releasing their um, lightning like their lightning figures. What I mean by that is I like how some teams, their first figure is not just a red ranger, or not just a male ranger. They also like release the female ranger as the first of that team. Like we have Summer. They did that with Ashley, the Yellow Ranger. They also did that with Issy, the Green Ranger. I'm not, and I'm not sure if they did that with any of the other uh, other characters, but those are the only three that I do remember. And I feel that that's really cool that they mix it up and they do it. And um, moving on to prices, it's the standard lighting collection price. If you live in Canada, it's thirty five ninety nine. If you guys are patient enough to wait for Games GameStop to have this, and you have your um platinum card you can actually get like i think 10 percent off so it will be reduced a little bit more to like 33.99 if you're in the u.s it's like 25.99 or 29.99 you guys have a lot of options to get this you guys have like amazon big bad toy store you have entertainment earth you have hasbro pulse you also have a lot of in-store like options to like target and walmart and all these other places so so that's pretty much it for the figure and it's so satisfying um that power just lightning collection bay 15 that they did a really good job with all the rangers and they look like their ranger counterpart only only chad and tj they could have done a little bit more but yeah and it's actually different this time around because normally the lightning collection has at least four figures in one wave but to my understanding, it's only these three figures for V15. Maybe that's because there are those rumors that they're planning to take a small break. So maybe that's why. But uh, yeah, that's my review. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please uh, like, subscribe, comment. It really does help. Thank you so much.